Hi there everyone, welcome back to the Lioness Podcast Show. We were here with the finale podcast episode with three cast members this time to look at the season that's passed and have a chat about everything that's been going on. So, Shan, Frank, Aiden, thank you guys for coming in for this one, this is cool. How are you guys feeling getting to the end of oh, it's season two? Oh, sad. I mean, like, it's, it's been such a riveting season and, and to not have that thing to look forward to, like, it's... Because we know how it's going to go, but yeah. watching it and, you know, being with your friends and your family and it's, you know, it's... It's it's you know it's a little bit sad. Yeah. It is she sad. She says smiling yeah, gleefully yeah, yeah. like I'm like yeah. <laughs> yeah. smiling <laughs> crying. Oh, exactly, I'm yeah, smiling crying. We worked so flipping hard. Yeah, we worked. You know, hard. We care we care about the show. We care about the characters, and now to share it with the audience, yeah. that's like almost the fun bit. You know, because we didn't make it for us. No. We for that. Yeah, you don't make it in a vacuum. Yeah. It has exactly. to be for the viewers, you know. And, and, yeah. and their reaction has been it's so, so amazing. Yeah. I think I'll just move a little because I'm sitting next to Uncle Jay. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, just run. I'm scared he's like, I should have done it. You wait <laughs> just hang on, bro. Now, right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but yeah, man, it's been liquor to work with family, yeah. friends. Um, it's a season full with lots of action, yeah. exciting things, and I mean, it just kept the viewers and the audience, even ourselves, that were in the things uh, yeah. in the series, like extremely hooked. Yeah, and that's the cool thing about the series; it just keeps yeah. you hooked. Yeah, it really does, and it's and, and it just turned out so beautifully. Yeah. Because you read the scripts and you think, is it going to look a certain way? And I mean, you look at, I mean, Bradley Devine's work yeah. is it's yes. divine. Yeah. Quite yeah. honestly, like his surname <laughs> yeah. meets his work standard, yeah. divine. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I mean, it's cinematography. It's Next level, so, yeah. If we look at the season, chatting about things like this, feeling safe, yeah. climbing in the character, getting to act with each other, what scenes do you stand out for Sam? Looking back now, getting to the end of the season, we all have like pinnacle moments throughout the season where things change, right? So, the, okay, the only way that I can answer this is I can tell you about this every. I have an Everest in everything that I do, yes. right? so it's like the thing that feels completely insurmountable. And that was um, end ep 8, going into 9, it was the whole sequence of trying to find Miranda. When I read oh, that, oh, I remember oh, gosh, thinking, yeah. oh dear baby, <laughs> how on earth am I going to yeah. do this emotionally? And I, yeah. it was something that I was really worried about. I'm like you. It's too late, Samantha. Game over. No! 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 I thoroughly enjoyed the scene in the kitchen with Jason and Sam, where Sam's going, there's clearly something wrong with the school. And Jason's yeah. just trying to stay logic about, but it's, but you've got to have evidence, it's law. Da, da, da. I know, but and, and it's so right. And there like, was such a nice so play so between them, yeah. because, because the thing is, even though Jason's the villain in the, in the show, at that point, Sam was going with, like, her passion, and Jason was going with his logic. Mm. And it was such a lack of scene, like, for actors, that's fun to play with, yeah. because Shan's amazing at, at, at going there, you know, so for me, like, there's... The, it's like playing tennis with someone who can really move the ball, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so it makes, it ups my game. And, yeah. and then you hit the ball hard back and then It's just so fun to yeah. play. Yeah, that yeah, is fun. That does explain a lot. Yeah, it explains why she didn't listen to Caitlin, why she didn't talk to us. And I'm telling you, she told him and he's warned the school. Well, could be. Could be. Yeah, we don't know that for certain, Sam. You can't just jump to conclusions. Jason, I'm telling you right now that Caitlin's not the only one. I saw him with another pupil, stroking her cheek. It was completely inappropriate. What? You saw that when? Today. <laughs> the second one was the day when I pretended like I'm loading a gun, like I'm gonna go and shoot Max kind of thing, and you come in there and you're like, no, let me do it. When I read that in the script, I almost threw up because I just thought, how callous can you get? Yeah. So that to me was like, how am I gonna ever play this? Yeah. That was your universe. Exactly. Yeah. Give me the gun, Uncle Jay. Okay. 
Yourself? Yeah, I think episode five. Um, mm. The moment we get to see mm. Liam and Kevin finally, like you know, mm. intimate connection with one another. Yeah. That was pretty cool for me. Like we spoke yeah. about it the last time, it was a cool moment. Yeah. Actors, character, everything. I know they move fast to that point, yeah. but I think it was the right timing because yeah. that's how people fall in love today. Like you yeah. know, that is just yeah. the case. If you have a deep connection with someone like that and your conversation flows, someone you can trust. I, mean. I promise. It's, you guys are very good at okay. picking up favourites. I'm the worst. I'm just <laughs> like, I don't pick the one that I'm the worst, the most scared about. Yeah. I think there's a really cool scene for, I don't know, for me mine. from Sam. I think the, I think it's episode four. Yeah, I think it's not just my favourite in line. Yes, I think it's one of my favourite scenes of all time. Um, episode four, where she comes back, finds a daughter almost just committed suicide. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. got goosebumps for that scene, guys. Oh, you, sure. you turned around and you were like, yeah. And you couldn't speak, it was just like silence. Yeah. Just, and I started dearing up. Yes, but those children oh. give her grey hairs, my god. Oh, no. The stress it, from you the know children. It's a special oh. set when like the cast members are looking at each other, going like, oh, that was good. You know, Amy Sprouls and Rousseau, who's our head of our head of makeup, she That's actually mommy. said it best. She's mommy. therapist player. Yeah. She yeah. actually <laughs> said it best, she said. I think all of us left a little piece of ourselves behind okay, on season two, and yeah. and it's it'll be nice if we can get to go back for season three and just yeah. pick up that little piece yeah. and kind of like transpose. Tell the stories. Okay. Yeah, I must mean, say for me also, I want to shout out for Holly and for Ilza as directors. Like I, uh, we were in very good hands. Yeah, oh, exactly. Really and I think it was it was good <laughs> that the, the, the space they gave us to, Such to operate. Such different energies as well. One hundred percent. And then and I think also Ilza's ability. She's an amazing story mind. Her ability to say no, no, this is the part of the story we're in now, or that's a part of the story we're in no, now. No, she's literally the lioness encyclopedia. Yeah. You're just like, yeah. sorry, could you go to page three hundred forty-two, appendix D? And you're like, she's like, you're up there already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. One hundred percent. No, and and yeah, her her kindness as well. I think she's got a gentle heart, you know, she but she's also it, sure yeah. of what she wants. So that made me feel safe. So yeah, and she's the original of the story. I mean, I can remember uh, my best memory with Holly was, was my first appearance, my entry into Lioness. Yeah. And Kevin just walks into this bar to see Liam for the first yes. time, and that's the scene. Just walking into the bar, going to Liam, and Holly's like, "No man, Aiden, let's let's do something special. Let's do something interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh. I want you to look slowly back to the camera, but just look like off screen." And I was like, "That's it." And I walked and I gave the look. And Holly was like, that's it. And I was like, thank you for my moment. I got my moment. <laughs> so thank you to everyone. All the fans, yes. um, all the audience that have been watching. Every single person is extremely grateful. We'll all get to say our thank yous. And we just want to make sure that everyone that was involved, from directors to writers to producers to actors, everyone deserves their flowers for the show. Um, it's one big happy family. We're all sad that season two is coming to an end and very hopeful that there will be a third. So. Thank you for your time and your energy in supporting the thing that we all got to create. You guys, you guys can say it. I'm not following up after that. You said it all. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Well done, guys.